side of Chicago, it's time for the Greg Spruce Show. I'm Mick Oliver inviting you to stay tuned because in the next 30 minutes, you'll meet from the South Suburban Humane Society, Lola Prue and Eleanor Meter, and the musical group, The King Snakes. And now here's someone I want you to meet, Mr. Gregory Spruce. Thank you, Mick. Thank you. Welcome back to the Greg's True Show. 30 minutes of glory, honor, and justice. Ooh. Of course, beginning 30 minutes from now, so I don't know if it was something like that. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> this is our 150th show tonight. You believe that? 150, if we can hear it for that. We weren't going to bore you with clips and bits from the past. We're going to bore you with clips and bits from tonight. So it was one of those things that I just want to do share with you. Okay. Obviously, the guests weren't impressed with that, Mick, were they? <laughs> You're serving as two purposes tonight. He's, he's getting ready to, are you getting ready to take your camera? Is this your side job or something? To, are we going to sit down? Or? We'll sit down shortly. Okay. okay all, right. all right. Tonight, uh, on the uh, 150th show, which I think when we had, we when we had our 100th show, back about 50, cake? pardon me? Do you have a birthday cake? No, I, because I got some news later why, why we aren't celebrating a big oh. deal here tonight. <gasps> There's a bigger deal coming along. Oh. So that's why I, but. Were you kind of let down? Did you know tonight was 150? No. And now that I know, <laughs> now that I know, I'm going okay. to get a present for uh, you or anything? You I know? don't know. Something like that. I, I, what is 150 in cable? I think it's silver. Silver. Yeah. Okay. Something silver. like that. It takes you that long. It's like triple. Anyway, tonight we have a wonderful show. We have the uh, South Side's number one reggae, right? Is that the right huh? term? Reggae and jazz? Reggae Rhythm and blues. And blues. Rhythm, Rhythm and blues. and blues, Greg. The King Rhythm. Snakes are with us tonight. <laughs> Let's hear it for the King Snakes. They're with us tonight. And we also have a wonderful Daddy. lady who uh, takes care of animals in her spare time, uh, and she's very dedicated to that. Lola Prule. 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 Yeah. Lola Prule and Eleanor Rigby. No, Eleanor. Meaner. Eleanor Meaner yeah. is here. Let's hear it for them. They're here with us tonight. A lot of excitement on the 150th show, don't you feel it in the I air? I can feel it. The tension is building. I mean, it's just like, look. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of nervous. It's kind of nervous. It. And uh, we'll be talking with Mick shortly, uh, and I guess they're going to show us uh, a little bit with the post office box. But uh, here at the Greg Strew Show, this is our 150th show. Yeah. I'd like to hear it. Yeah, can we do that? Like, yeah. the, Were you here for the 100th show? I don't know. When every time we said 100, everybody applauded? No. no. So let's, let's do that, all right? Every time we say that's 150 like tonight, that's word. like the punch. That'll be like the <laughs> secret word. Uh, yeah! Okay. <laughs> and I just, I wanted to take care of some business. Now, the 150th show, I was thinking, one of our biggest fans. <laughs> God, I love it. There's, 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 <laughs> you're late. Go back in there. Uh, one our, I say, okay, anyway, on our 150. Um, we have one of our biggest fans out in the audience tonight. It is a huge audience tonight. Um, Ryan Summer is here. And Ryan, I'm going to come out here and see you. Come out here a minute. Come out here a minute. How are you doing? Let's hear it for Ryan. I'll tell you what. So we can be fair and you can be my height. Stand up on that chair, all right? All right? Now, this is the thing. We have not lit this candle. We have not lit this candle. Probably going to burn a candle by the end of the night. But if you want this, this is your prize for coming tonight. Hopefully he'll keep it with him forever. I was trying to find something. Do you want a bat? Do you see anything else on the set you want? No? What, what do you want? To, do, you, do you see anything on the set that you want? Any, you can have, wait. No, don't say the mic. Do you want the Batman or what's behind curtain number one? Take the Batman. The Batman. Go on, Batman. You want the Batman? All right, he's a fair score. Let's hear it for Ryan. You want to, can you get down from there? Okay, have a seat over there. Hey, Greg. What? He makes some great faces, too. He makes what? Great faces. Did you see? Let's see one of his faces. Can we see one of his faces? Ryan? Can you make us a face, Ryan? Make Ryan? us a face for our 150th show. Ryan's going to do a... Oh, yeah. Give us a face. Ryan. Give us a face. Ryan. Okay. <laughs> There's a feel after all. Anyway, we're uh, going to hear a little bit later. Uh, from uh, Mick after the take a look at the post office box. Here it is. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, Bruce. <laughs> All right, come on over, Mick. Head down a little bit, Mike. You're up too high.
Okay, we are back. We're back. Thank you very much. As, as Johnny and Ed always do on their anniversary, yeah, we, have, we have to shake our hands. This is, we have, we some, have to uh, shake hands here. Well, they were actually borrowed. What happened is the front office at the facility is remodeling after all these times. They were making way for our big 150th anniversary. Just people, were just, people were just lined up from here all the way to the Calumet Expressway waiting to get into the night's show. They were. Unfortunately, yeah. the tickets were limited, and uh, they, <laughs> we had to reschedule that. the show. Yeah. And I don't know, so um, I just, I wanted, what, what the reason is that we aren't celebrating this is what? that the Greg's True Show on cable is going to be coming to an end. <gasps> because in the fall, the Greg's True Show will hopefully be seen, and I say hopefully because now more than ever we need to hear from you, our viewers, our viewers. as well as you viewers who are businessmen who uh, might want to advertise on the show, uh, hopefully the Greg's True Show, and I say hopefully because we've made this deal uh, come true hopefully really yeah we have capital we'll be uh yeah? we have to have capital as they say in business really? uh, the Greg true show will be Ooh. starting on super 66 in chicago we're going to be doing some pilots so i think that's pretty exciting still my heart after 150 Ooh. shows i think it's about time wow. 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 Congratulate you on this. Thank this you. Great. Are you interested in coming with, by the way? Sure. <laughs> we'll ask you on the air. Sure, why not? Um, Can I, uh, uh, taking advantage of the uh, 150th show, <laughs> it's working very being good. the 150th show, <laughs> I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to say hi to Jeff Jadis. Jeff, I know Jeff. Jeff, you know Jeff? Jeff's in yeah. uh, Harvey. Yeah. Actually, he's uh, one of the people on the list for, uh, well, we won't even talk about okay, that. Okay, well, I just, I just want to say hi to Jeff Chaitis. Well, hello, Jeff, and uh, if you're He says us, he's a faithful follower of the Greg Struess, the <laughs> Reverend, faithful follower of the Reverend <laughs> well, the Greg, Greg, Greg Struess, and he just follows you around, and he puts his hand on the TV, he goes, ah, every time it sees you, it's wonderful, and the, uh, he says nobody ever says hi to him, so. Well, we said hello. So, hello to Jeff on our 150th show, we salute you. Thank you for watching. What is that again, Greg? 150, <laughs> 150. Well, when you talk about getting into broadcast television, you talk about a major leap. And when you talk about a major leap, you're talking ratings. Are you familiar, very, with, very familiar. with how ratings work? How does that work? Now, you're talking about a rating and a share. Now, isn't a share a percentage of how many of households are tuned in into at one time? Yes, the number of television sets in use. Grand now, how do they figure that out in radio? I'm not exactly sure. In radio? Yeah. I have no. I think they lie anyway in radio. So, <laughs> it, honest to God, they do. They because. Oh. All right, throw out any show. All right, we have the listings from March 9th through the 15th, uh, 1991, and uh, just throw out any show. Give me one show that you watch on. Uh, oh let's go with a weeknight. Let's go uh, oh. Sunday, Saturday, Saturday. Give me one show that you might watch on a Saturday. Throw one. No one watches anything on Saturday. No. All right. Okay. Um, well, naturally, Monday, the Greg Strew show isn't in here because it's on cable. So at the moment. Is, at the moment. Yeah. Now we're hopefully looking for a yeah. two rating pickup well, somewhere like that. Yeah. That'd be pretty exciting. Well, come on, throw Not me. Even one. a one. I don't. Throw me I don't watch television, Greg. I don't. Anyone out there? What? what <laughs> give me a show. Cheers. Cheers. Thursday All right. Thursday cheers. Night. Thursday night. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking real quickly here. I thought I. <laughs> I thought I have this thing Stump already it, set. Let's see, Stump. Okay, how about The Simpsons? All right, you're right okay. Now. You're talking well, uh, seven o'clock. Now they go every fifteen minutes. All right, seven o'clock. The Simpsons run a fourteen rating and a twenty-two share. All right, okay. at seven fifteen, The Simpsons run a seventeen rating and a twenty-five share. And let's see, what, what was the show you were looking for? You're looking for uh, cheers. cheers. Okay, they run a 24 and a 37. Ooh. Pretty powerful. Very strong. You think we can get those kind of ratings on 66? I think it's possible, Greg. If we try. I think we can pull it off. <laughs> I really do. I see billboards. I see. I see <laughs> blimps. The whole deal. I think it's a possibility. Now, if we can get 150 there, that would be great. No now, problem. see, they didn't. They didn't go for it. Now, it must be Look. a trick. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway. It's time to take a break, and in a moment we'll be back with the one and only King Snakes. So King Snakes, yes, King Snakes, the King Snakes will be with us. I'm 150. Okay, 150th show.
Okay, we are back. Thank you very much. We are back. Oh my God. Silent 150, shall we say. It was almost as exciting. And hello to Jeff Jadis if you're watching us. Who else can we say hello to? Who else can we say hello to? Well, hello to everyone else who's watching us there out in Cable Land. Anyway, our first guests made their first appearance with us, it's hard to believe, almost two years ago. And like fine, line, like fine wine, they continue to improve with age. They uh, have also proven to be one of the best rhythm and blues bands in the South Side. And it's a pleasure to welcome back to our show, The King Stakes, everyone. Yes. Tell you a story about the best friend blues. in love with a woman, woman's in love with another man. Woman's in love with a man, man's in love with another woman. She lives right next door. What's the name of it? Best Friend Blues. Best Friend Blues. Based what's what's it about story. now? It said, I don't love you. I'm in love with your best friend. And that's an original? Original. Based on a true story. 
Based on a true story. Who was it about? The names we won't we won't <laughs> talk about. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when did you write that? You wrote that one? Yeah, about uh, two and a half, three years ago. Yeah. So yeah, I noticed you guys. Uh, been, well, first of all, we'll introduce everyone. It's your Tim. No, Tim. Mike. Tim's Tim. You're Mike. Mike Boyle. Mike. I knew your last name. We know your last name, Mike. And then we have one of the best, hottest drummers around, Tim. How you doing? How you nice doing? to see you again. Now, uh, when you talk about rhythm and blues, do you, do you guys feel that you're the best in the South Side? Mm, we just feel good about what we do. You know, it's like, who's your favorite uh, blonde? It's hard. I could name maybe a top hundred. Probably my sister. My wife, actually. I better <laughs> say that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, we, I think we, we like what we're doing, and, and there's a, uh, a lot of good groups out there. And we feel good about what we do, though. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. And uh, what, what about you? You guys, you've been probably the sh with the group the shortest, right? Yeah, about three and a half years. And uh, it's still a gas all the time. Every week. You guys are great, yeah. Now, you played at the Park West recently, which uh, where we're going to be doing a show in the next month, right? Is that right, Mick? <laughs> How did you like that? What was that like? Oh, that was super. That was a thrill. You know, it's uh, just awesome. 2,000 people right there and a big system to uh, play through. And they, they liked us a lot. That's good. How was the, how was the feedback at the Park West? You got to stand up. Got to stand up. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was great. No, the crowd response was real good. It was real positive, and the, uh, the people at uh, the Park West and Jam Productions they were very happy with us, and we were happy with them, and we we just had a real good time. That sounds good. And you guys, you guys always have a lot of fun when you play together, and uh, if people want to have a chance to see where you're going to be. What's an upcoming place? Give us something in May, June, the uh, summer. April. April. How about April? A little further. Uh, I know we'll be at Queen's Fest in August. Yeah, that's off in the distance. <laughs> Always a lot of fun. And you'll be various places in April. If they want to get in touch, we'll uh, call the hotline. 708-597-9261. Okay. Great number in Blue Island. Anyway, the King Snakes. We'll be back in a moment with Lola Prue and uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Lola and Eleanor Meter. So stay yeah. with us. Okay. Do you have a history of um, stroke or blood vessel disease in your family? I have a history of being a stroke. No, okay. I'm kidding. Sorry. Just, just a and it's hotter than you know what anyway our next guest uh, guests actually I always have this last minute change we always someone always ends up popping up here I guess that's the exciting thing we have here at the Greg's true show it's all about people and people means ratings and ratings means dollars and if you want to be a future sponsor of the Greg's true show get in touch with us anyway our next guests are very giving of their time uh, to the animal community and that uh, they both care for uh, and about lost and abandoned animals and hopefully after meeting them you'll want to adopt a pet from the south suburban humane society please welcome ms lola prue prue and eleanor meaner yes welcome how are you have you ever felt so much excitement in one room it's kind of overwhelming <laughs> <I'd say>. overwhelming <laughs> overwhelming now uh, what is the south did you have something else i'm sorry no okay. i was it even woke the animals here all this excitement here now, did you ever see the Bing Crosby special in the 60s that walk and talk like the animals? Everybody in here never knew what I was talking about. You never, probably no. don't know what I'm talking about no. either. 
It was on one of those specials after he passed away. They they ran some clips uh -huh. and everything. You never saw if no. I could walk to the animal. And oh, talk, talk to, to talk the animal. Right. Yes. She does right. know it. Thank you. Yeah. See, I'm not that. See, that's <laughs> Dr. <laughs> that's Dr. Uh, Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle saying yeah. that's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the uh, South Suburban Humane Society? What is what is what is its goal? What is it? If you want to tell us all about it, what, how would you? Well, in. In 1970, it was started by a group of citizens who would take the animals into their homes. And uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> All right. And uh, then finally, in 1973, they started a shelter. And uh, in 1983, they enlarged the shelter and we did our and built our new building. So now we have about. 4,000 members, contributing members anyway, and we're always looking for volunteers because we have very many animals that come through our doors, about 5,600 plus a year. 5,600 animals a year. Mm -hmm. uh, where do the animals generally come from? Do you, you, uh, well, well I could Eleanor, answer that. Uh, the number one place. You didn't raise your hand. You can't answer. <laughs> okay. I have this answer. Uh, right. The Number one greatest uh, amount of animals come from private homes. They're called give-ups. And then we get um, a certain amount of lost animals. And they're lost because they do not have collar and tags on. And then other people find them. And a third place is abandoned animals, throw-outs, dumps. Uh, people actually dump a little mother cat and her little babies, maybe on the side of the road. And then other people, if the dumped animal is lucky, will find them and bring them into the shelter. And then the fourth um, area of um, animals come from litter give-ups. People still do not spay or neuter their animals, and we get a tremendous amount of puppies and kitties in, especially kittens in, there is actually a cat season from spring, summer, in late fall, we'll get... Nothing falls off, though. No uh, it falls off like that, in, right? in the cold winter, like uh, right after Christmas. There are no kittens January, February. Very, very, maybe one or two. Um, most uh, animals, kittens come in in the summer and, and the fall, and we may get 20 to 30, sometimes 40 kittens in each day. And that's very heartbreaking. So what, what happens to the animals after you get them? You, you care for them, obviously, and then... We what happens from there? Do they, you, you try to, <laughs> you we try try to find, to find homes, right? homes? We very definitely try to find homes. In fact, this little gentleman that I have here tonight is uh, one that we just picked up on the way here. We were going you to pick the dog up on the uh -huh. way here. It was abandoned in the prairie in Riverdale. I thought you were going to say it was abandoned in Hammond and no Angie's in the King Snake song. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this one was nearby. We were going to bring another animal from the shelter, but we didn't. And we figured we'd put bring this poor little guy, has a cataract in one eye. So and chances old. are that it's because it's old, the people mm -hmm. don't want to care for it anymore and they give right. it up. Uh -huh. Or it may have just wandered away. Uh, you have to be particularly careful of the senior uh, pets because they sometimes can't see very well, they may be deaf, and their smell, their uh, smell Scent. the way home is not there anymore, so they just might get disoriented uh, a couple blocks away from their home. This little dog has a flea collar on, however they neglected to put a collar and a tag on him, so it'll be hard to find the owner. Um, you ask what do uh, we do with the animals when they come into the South Suburban right. Humane Society. The first thing we do is give them an inoculation against distemper and parvo. Both cats and dogs get the distemper shots. Then the next thing we do with the adult dog is check them for heartworm. And we check them also for um, intestinal worms. And we check them for fleas and ticks and ear mites. We wash them and bathe them. And then we put them up for adoption. They're not given away. We um, have an adoption form that people must right. sign. And the dogs are $40 and the cats are 30 People might think that's a lot of money. Uh, I could get a free one through the paper or flea market, but our dogs, uh, when they are adopted, do have all the inoculations, they're wormed, and they get spayed and neutered. Right, real quickly, people want to get in touch with you in regard to adopting a pet. What's the number? The number is 708-755-PETS, P-E-T-S. One more time, 708? 708-755-PETS. 
Okay. Well, we thank you, Eleanor and Lola. You two do great work and continue your good luck and success with the South Suburban Humane Society. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much. We'll okay. take a break and we'll be back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more of the King Snakes, so stay with us. Let me try it. Right. Go ahead. It's got the little... Oh. 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 <laughs> Spider. Another program Spider. that we have that you sounded real interested in is we just started having free. It's gonna hurt real bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the hand. Yes, up. I got jammed with the. Throw it up, let it bounce, and catch it. Oh, you're pretty good at Thank throwing up. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wasn't that a good throw up? Okay, great. Try it one more. Fucking hot. We're back. Okay. You wear something like this. Just like that. I mean, big snake. Hey, Greg, answer something. I'll tell you what, I want to take this guy here. Man, he's got a big snake. Here, Greg, will you hold this one for me for no, a second? I... Here you go. Come yeah. On. There you go. Ooh, nice snake. <laughs> <laughs> See, sit down and... Well, what time is it? What time is it, T-Bone? Hey, it's time to call this juice line. At area code 708-841-0969. This is your chance to get in touch with the one and only Scoose Man. At area code 708-841-0969. We'd like to know what you thought of the King Snakes. What did you think of them? Hey, I thought they were great. So pick up the phone and dial the Scoose Line at area code 708-841-0969. Now back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are back. My hands are right here. I just was resting them down here. The guys were making a big deal out of where I had my hands. See, they're right here. If you want to see my hands, they're blatantly right here. I'm not no hanky-panky. It's just this is where they're at. I had them right here on my knees, okay? So as long as we have that out of the way for our 150th show, we've lost two more people. That's fantastic. So where are you guys going to be, Ange? Uh, t in PJ Flaherty's, uh, Bugsy Flynn's. Park West again. Park West. Soon. Well, of course, when we're there next month. Right. Greg's True Show, live from Park West, coming soon. Okay. Anyway, we thank you for joining us, and you're going to take us out with what? Ah! Okay, just a second. <laughs> this is Greg's True. Thanks for uh, watching next week. Uh... Oh, Rick Sacito's on next week, the well-known Elvis in first today. We'll see you. Thanks. Oh!